with a family of pea horses and here zookeeper Becca Bradley joins us to tell us all about this love story um, that has helped produce a couple of um, youngsters. So tell us, Becca, thank you for, first of all so much for joining us. Tell us about this family. Um, so we currently have both a mom, a dad, and currently one, one youngster with us here at the El Paso Zoo. We have Vitali, who's the dad. We have Brianna, who is mom. And currently we have Holly. Holly is our baby who was born on February 3rd last year. So she just had her first birthday a little bit ago. Um, and this is their second offspring, their second successful pregnancy and birth that we've had here at the El Paso Zoo. Um, our first baby was Misha. Um, Misha is now at the Minnesota Zoo. And we have Holly here um, for the time being until she is old enough to go off onto her own adventures. Um, and then mom and dad are hopefully then able to give us more babies after that. Which is what we want, right? Because this species is endangered. How endangered are they? Um, they're a very endangered species. They actually, um, decades ago, went completely extinct in the wild. Um, you could not find them anywhere other than under human care. So through breeding programs like this is how the species has, has been able to survive. Um, so we're very fortunate being, being able to be part of this because we know that we're able to add to those numbers to this really critically endangered species. When you see mom and dad together, how, how do they um, communicate with each other? What kind of behaviors do you see? They do constant communication with each other back and forth, just kind of in their own their own horse language with, with noises and everything. Um, they groom each other a lot. Um, they, you know, they'll, they'll run with each other throughout the exhibit, chasing each other, um, or they'll give each other space. You know, if they're, they're not feeling like being around each other, they know to give each other space as well. Um, Brianna's pretty good at communicating when she wants a little bit of space away from her boyfriend. Ah, communication is the key to love. Thank it you, is. Becca, so much. Anything else you want to mention? Um, I mean, we're just so, so happy to be part of this, this program here, being able to contribute to, to wild species and contribute to basically um, a conservation success story. I like to always tell guests that pea horses are one of the um, greatest examples of why zoos are so important. Um, we're able to, you know, breed these animals, take care of them, make sure they're in the best hands possible to make sure that they then are able to, to add numbers to their wild counterparts and also be great ambassadors for their wild counterparts, be able to explain to people as to why it's important to, to protect them and to keep them around for, for years to come. It's great to see all the work that's being done here at the El Paso Zoo. Thank you once again, Becca, for joining us. And again, you can find out more about the pea horses on KTSM.com.